Thank you for purchasing Red Sea's calcium test kit. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how the test is meant to be performed. Before performing the test for the first time, make sure you read the instructions that are included in the manual. Once you've read the written instructions, you have got very easy to follow graphic instructions on the color card. Before doing the test, I prepared a sample of water from the aquarium and I've washed all of my syringes and vials so we're ready to go. Stage one is to take 5 ml of the water to be tested and we take that with the syringe making sure that we are accurate in the 5 ml. Then we take reagent A and we're going to drop 5 drops into the top of the vial. One, two, three, four, five. It's important to make sure that they are full drops because sometimes you get more of a bubble burst than a drop and that will uh, cause an error in the test. Then we shake gently for a few moments just to make sure that the reagent is mixed well with the water. We then take our reagent B, which is a powder, and we have to put one level spoon of reagent into the vial. And then we shake for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We're now going to prepare the titration. We take our titrant and we take our syringe. You put the syringe into the bottle of the titrant and slowly draw up the plunger. The liquid rises slower than the plunger and you must wait for the liquid to finish rising before continuing. Also keep the tip of the uh, syringe in the titrant at all times. We need to take exactly 1 ml and we do that when the bottom of the plunger, the black part of the plunger, is at the 1 ml mark. Okay, now we can assemble our titrator. We screw the vial onto the bottom and we insert our syringe into the top making sure that the scale is clearly visible. And now we start doing the titration by slowly adding the titrant, pushing down the plunger and we wait for a color change to occur in the vial. Now we're shaking. The important thing is to carry on shaking at all times. Okay, very slowly the sample starts changing its color. It's getting a darker shade of red. And we're looking for a blue color. Once you start seeing the, a more purpley color, it's time to start going drop by drop. And that's a real purple. Now, just one drop at a time. That's very close to the end point. What we're looking for is blue. One drop at a time. Another drop. And one more drop. And we've got our blue color of the end point. Just for clarity, again, this is the color you are looking for. And when we look at our syringe, we see that we have used up 91 uh, hundredths of an ml and so we've completed the test and that is our endpoint. Now we look on the card. We turn it over and on the back of the card there is a table and we look for 91. There isn't 91 but there's 90 and 92. The midpoint between them gives us a reading of 455 ppm of calcium. And that is the end of the calcium test.